guys, Scare9 here, and welcome back to my channel today. Guess what, guys? I finally got my main PC back so I can once again do awesome editing things like this. <laughs> I still really love that I can do things like that. It's freaking awesome. Anyways, in today's video, we're going to be breaking down the different ways that you guys can reach 335 white within the April update. I have broken up into three main paths for you guys, PvP content, PvE content, and things you can do as a solo player. This is really the first time within Destiny that a solo player has been able to reach 335, which is really interesting and hopefully a really good thing. But let's go ahead and get into the breakdown of the three different paths. So first we have the PvP route. This path consists of the normal two activities, Trials of Osiris and Iron Banner. For Trials, I expect 335 gear to come from the Silver Pack packages, gold packages, and of course the lighthouse. In addition, I expect the high-end rewards in Iron Banner to come from the level 5 packages and from the end of match rewards. Nothing really different from how they are doing it now, but I just wanted to convey to you guys that they did confirm that 335 gear can come from both of these activities. The next route that Bungie has given us to reach 35 is in the endgame PvE content. First, Bungie has made it very apparent that right off the bat, the Court of Orcs will start dropping 335 white level artifacts, which will make them much easier to earn than the 320 artifacts when the Taken King first dropped. Next, they are going to increase the light level for drops from the hard mode raid. Now, this is a little bit tricky. When the April update first comes out, the drops from the hard mode raid will cap at 330 light. However, Bungie said that after a while, they are actually going to release a hot patch that will increase this to 335 light. So initially, you won't be able to earn max light level gear from the hard mode raid. Uh, but a couple of weeks after the update drops, they didn't give an exact time frame, but I'm guessing it'll be no more than a couple of months after um, they will increase this to 335 light. This is probably to make sure that people don't rush through the new content as quickly as possible. And finally, the last PvE activity that will drop 335 light level gear is the new challenge. Challenge of Elders, specifically from the Cypher of the Elders that Tanix will give you with the two weekly challenges on it. Now we have arrived at the final route, which is the route that can be taken by solo players. So first, Strike Rewards, such as the Mark of the Undying Mind or the Imago Loop, will now have the possibility to drop up to 335 light, which is exciting. That means that Strikes will again be more prevalent within our leveling system. And the second source for solo players actually comes from Exotic Engrams. D stated in the last livestream that these will have a chance to drop at 335 light. So those are all the sources for 335 light level gear that we know of. Those are all the things that they discussed in the live stream. I went ahead and made this awesome chart for you guys so you can keep track of all the new sources within the April update. I recommend that you guys go ahead and take a picture or a screenshot of the screen when the table's up there to help you guys when the update actually comes out on April 12th. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure you leave a like rating and share this video on your social medias. These actually let me know that you guys are enjoying the content that I'm producing and help my channel to grow. If you guys have missed the breakdown on things to do or things to earn within the April update, uh, I actually did a breakdown for those streams. You can find links to those by clicking the letter I in the type right hand corner of your screen. It does not matter if you're on computer or mobile, just hit the I in the top right hand corner of the screen and find the links in that list. Finally subscribe for more awesome Destiny content and I'll see you guys in my next video.